on a scale of 1 to 10, <laughs> how confident are you going into your internship year? For me po, it's 8.5. Mm-hmm. Not well prepared for the um, internship. Because mm-hmm. um, we took our electrotherapy class during the online. Oh, well, okay. That's right. That's online. Ayun po pala, isa pang struggle yung mga background noises. Yun po. So, add ko lang po sa question earlier. Kanina. So, as I was saying po, 8.5 because we took our electrotherapy class online. So, we don't have ex- experience, prior experience in um, machines, equipment, um, hydrotherapy, paraffin, um, wax bath, something like that. And there are times that we have to um, DIY electrodes and just learn to place where to place it. But the actual machine, we don't mm-hmm. have prior experience po. So, ayun po yung feeling ko na kulang pa, yung 1.5 pa mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. na skills na kailangan na may learn bago pumasok sa internship. Although ngayon po, yung rotation namin is non-clinical pa. Na mm-hmm. Okay. And then we heard po na uh, magkakaroon po ng bridging semester where in pure skills lang po yung ituturo sa amin doon before po kami uh, parang isabak sa um, clinics. Yung... Oh, okay. So that's part of your uh, internship program, one sem of skills, focused yes. skills lab. Oh, okay, that's okay. That's their concern din po kasi our skills. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, po, I think around eight, mm-hmm. seven point five to eight. Mm-hmm. Po, um, actually, na hatulong. Uh, before we start with internship, we actually just finished our bridging classes, po, um, during June to July. So we went to USC for face to face classes, po, um, for skills mm-hmm. and and just for for the profs to assess or assessment and intervention skills. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yun po. Nakatulong po yung sobra yung bridging classes that we had. Even though it was just around five weeks, mm-hmm. um, really utilize those days para po ma-tanong po namin yung mga questions namin even from third-year um, topics. Yung mm-hmm. mga um, kahit range of motion, yung MMP po, tamang mm-hmm. positioning. Mm-hmm. Um, Yun. And then I think we'll be going back to USD then po to um, try the modalities um, before we start with our face-to-face internship. So mm-hmm. I think right now, mga, without the modalities, pa siguro mga seven. Pero um, for the skills and other um, application mm-hmm. um, skills, mga eight po out mm-hmm. of them. Okay. Yeah. Still fairly confident. Okay, Jean? Um, same with the two of them po, mga mm-hmm. 7.5 to 8 then mm-hmm. since actually sa, sa amin po, sa, sa Pampanga, meron po kami um, electrotherapy na, na kit. So, um, may alam na ako ng konti about electrotherapy, yun nga na po hydrotherapy and others, radiation, ganyan din po namin um, natakal o hindi din po namin actually nagamit. But we're lucky enough po kasi before that po, Parang ina-advance na po kami ng mga prof namin before the COVID. Ina-advance na po kami ng mga prof namin. So, um, sa mga modalities, na-try na po namin yung mga ultrasound, mga electrotherapy, ganyan, and yung mga hot packs and cold packs din. So, mm-hmm. kumbaga may background na rin po kami. And of course, the assessment and treatment, talagang focus po nila sa amin. Dati pa yung skills. Pero, um, Medyo ano po kasi ko sa um, pool mo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sa pool mo po ako medyo hirap. So, hindi po, yun po yung hindi po talaga din masyado na focus po sa akin sa um, batch ko po. So, parang for me, paano if ganito yung mapuntang kill sa akin, ganyan. Mm-hmm. Pa- paano if ganito yung mapuntang patient sa akin. So, mm-hmm. hindi, hindi naman po sa hindi confident, but not confident enough. Mm-hmm. to be to independently become an intern yan mm-hmm. para kailangan pa rin namin mag-ask lalo mm-hmm. na yun nga po yung mga online classes po namin is mostly 
video lang po and hindi naman po nila nakikita ng maayos if tama ba yung ginagawa namin sa patient namin kasi possible na nasa camera lang or mm-hmm. um, nasa positioning lang namin, ganyan, mm-hmm. yan po. Okay. I think tama, I mean, even without COVID, I would also answer uh, round eight coming into internship na uh, pagpasok ko, parang feeling ko talaga wa, hindi pa ako handa. Na parang ito na, pero wala, no backing out na eh. Nandiyan ka na eh. So, so what are you excited about? What are you looking, looking forward to this coming internship year? Uh, sa amin po, since ngayon po kasi nag-intern na po kami ni Monique for non-clinical. So, mm-hmm. for the clinical internship po, uh, actually, sabi po sa amin is parang magkakaroon niya po dapat na ng face-to-face. So, mm-hmm. parang every two weeks po yata yun, if I'm not mistaken po. Pero since, ayan po, nagkaroon na naman po ng lockdown and oh, PCQ ma. ngayon. So, parang ano ba matutuloy mo talaga ako oh, hindi? Kasi parang ano, lagi kami pinapaasa, gano'n. Kasi Ay. po, noong 2020, parang sabi, okay, by August, babalik na kayo ng school. Tapos mm-hmm. na, na-move na, okay, by January, mm-hmm. 2021. Tapos ngayon, by by um, September po dapat, tapos PCQ na naman. So parang, um, hindi na rin po namin, ano, mas makakapag-face-to-face pa talaga kami. Pero, um, syempre na kami, gusto po namin na, kahit pa paano is uh-huh. ma-experience din po yung ganun type po ng internship. Even po parang sa school lang or even sa mga mm-hmm. home um, hospitals po, home PD, we have po ng Fatima. Mm-hmm. So, yun po yung look forward to is to really um, may matutunan pa ako for my skills as physical therapist po. Mm-hmm. Yung hands-on talaga. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, for us, sir, um, we're actually just gonna start our internship po, I think, on August 9th. Mm-hmm. Yun po yung, um, dinivide po kasi kami into two batches. Batch one would be face-to-face first and then online for, mm-hmm. for the half of the year. And then ako po batch two. So I'll start with online activities first and then sa January po ako face-to-face. Oh, so okay. for... For this month, um, they assign topics for us per month. So this month, po, um, I'm assigned to cardiopulmo and special conditions. So mm-hmm. yung mga cases po na ibibigay po sa amin online um, would be yun po yung topic. So mm-hmm. every month, po, magpapalit po siya. Um, yun. But I'm really looking forward to January. <laughs> po yung face-to-face po namin. Sana po mm-hmm. talaga matuloy. Mm-hmm. Um, sana by then, yung cases pumaba na para we can put them to practice po talaga yung natutunan namin the past few years. Right. The USD was granted a limited face-to-face, di ba? So, yes. y- okay. yun ba yung nag-start kayo ng bridging program? Ah, okay. Yes. So Together dahil, with medicine po. So, dahil ECQ na-cut ulit or tapos na? Yung mga assigned po this month, I think sila po yung na-affect po ng uh-huh. ECQ. Mm-hmm. Yun ah, I see. Ang hirap na na kasi... Ano kaya mangyayari sa kanila kasi you have uh, a required number of hours yes, to well, fulfill, di ba? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I think 480 hours po ata yun, yung minimum number of hours. So I think yung mga face-to-face po ngayon, mm-hmm. I think they're supposed to they're supposed to practice po sa AMRC. So that's yung rehab po sa USD. Mm-hmm. So I think madadalay po sila but I'm not quite sure kasi mm-hmm. yun po sa okay. schedule. Well, sana maayos na to para makapagsimula na yung batch nila, no? Yes. Yeah. Right. Ikaw, Monique, what are you looking forward to and, and excited about this coming ano, uh, internship year? I'm excited about handling actual patients kasi before po, it's all hypothetical. <laughs> so, ano, ngayon po, um, although it's gonna be a tele-rehab and it's not as exciting as going to rehab clinics of mm-hmm. like wearing the scrub suits and all. Mm-hmm. Pero I'm excited pa rin po kasi actual patients na yun. Mm-hmm. Ayun po. 